Uh, no fire. No fire. No fire. No fire. I. S you owe me a perk. Oh no. I came to help and everything went wrong. Ah. It's okay. Did the turkey die? Uh, I'm gonna come grab my stuff. Oh, that poor bird. Uh, just keep biting right now. Just keep biting. I am coming in right now. I want my stuff and I don't want this PT to die. Okay. Okay, go go nuts. Go nuts. Wait, I want to see if I can pick it up. No, I can't pick it up. Ah! Dragon! I'm out of there. Go nuts. Oh, my poor Argentavis. How beautiful you were. Nah, it's okay. I'm gonna get another... I'm gonna actually set up an Ar Argentavis uh, trap. Good morning and welcome back. This is Axel Snow playing a little bit of Ark. Thinking about changing the name of. I'm thinking about changing the name of my playthrough series to How Not to Play Ark. Seeing as we've had so many mishaps over the first little start. And just the other day, I believe it was yesterday, T Dog jumped on. And yeah, we got this nice little. This little guy here, and we got another one inside, or in a cryopod, from the gifts that he gave us. And I flew into his Weaver's fire breath on my bird. My Argentavis is gone. What is that guy doing over there? But yeah, my RG is gone. Didn't even get to name it. But if I remember correctly, we did do a little espionage and stole something from him. Let's go in a base and see if he found it, if we went through my stuff and found it. Nope, they're right there. Three little baryonic eggs. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hatch one of these guys up. Put all my stuff away. I'll come well, it's about time that we throw down the egg. So, let's do this. Let's... Two minutes and 36 seconds. That shouldn't take too long. This guy up. Toss you over here. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I cannot wait to get this little guy. Hopefully we can imprint on him gonna be a little bit lower level than what our base cap is actually no it's gonna be a lot lower but we shall make do it's really sad because I was checking up on everything and a lot of my guys are set to aggressive just to protect my base but I found this bright red otter it would have been real nice Pretty colors. Oh well. No, oh, they look like they're having fun. How much time do we got left on this guy? Twenty seconds. I think we can wait that out. I can't wait to have myself a little berry onyx.
There he is. Sobek, welcome back. I mean, welcome to the world of Ark. Female level 107. Come on, little buddy. Oh, you're speedy. I wonder if he has them so they have mutations or not. I don't know. Eh, let's take a little bit for him to get big. Let's see if he has any... Oh, we have mutations already? I wasn't even going to go into any of that. But we have some mutations. Come on. We're going to put you inside for now. You can grow up nice and big and strong in here. Well, we'll just come back when he is all, or she is all grown up. Welcome back, everybody. And just like that, with the power of my crappy editing magic, we have an almost adult, just about to be adult, Baryonyx, ready to go on hunting and... We're going to make him, her, our first in line for getting all training done. So I want to see if there's any of the, the, any of the Explorer notes that I haven't gotten yet. And I want to see if we can get him leveled up pretty quickly. I know there's a bunch of them. Oh, is that it? There it is. But yeah, we have an adult... Baryonyx, the one creature I've wanted since the beginning of this. And ten bucks says, I kill it in the first twenty minutes. Whoa, geez, this guy is speedy. Uh, I just looked at the speed again, and it looks like the mutation we got was for movement speed. And, yeah, this is a fast guy. Oh, yeah. This is going to make traveling around a little easier. One of my favorite things about these guys is they have this really cool... Oh, that looks nice. Nice little autumn looking night. They have a really cool special ability where in water they can knock stuff out. I mean, that doesn't really count because that wasn't anything to knock out, but... Yeah, they can just knock stuff out, and then you can go at it and attack it. I'm gonna get the health up first. I'll come back when I level it up a little bit, or if I kill it. Well, guys, it's official. This is a very, very badass Baryonyx. I've been riding him now for about 30, 30 minutes to an hour. Getting him leveled up. Got him up to 10k health, almost a thousand melee damage, and we've taken on multiple T-Rexes, multiple Allosauruses, actually a pack of Allosaurus, Allos that attacked. I haven't found any Alphas yet, which is what I was looking for so I could get those quick level ups. But I think we're gonna <coughs> attempt to do the cave part two. Um, and. Honestly, I think we're going to do a little bit better than we did last. Oh my gosh. Those are so cool. I love the purples that they put in for these holiday colors. I mean, I'm, I'd like mutations better to get them yourself and everything, but like, Jesus. That's a color. But yeah, I'm going to stay out, take... A look for an alpha in a few spots and then I'm just go ahead and run home 
because I can run through the swamp now without really caring. Um, let's see if T-Dog's base door is closed. Otherwise, I'll just run around it. Oh, what are they attacking? Looks like they're having a good time. Yep, two frames per second. Wait for that to load up. I should steal his mammoth. No, don't steal his mammoth. Let's go around. Yeah, and right over here is actually where I grabbed the... Oops, glitch into rock. Right over here is right where I grabbed the explorer note that I knew that I hadn't gotten yet because I usually build over here but T-Dog has taken it this time not a big deal I have mine my, my own base my own little my own little spot hey Carno wanna go yeah big and strong little Sobek has gotten she is quite the beast And for the most part, she can fit into almost any cave. So. Take what you want from that. But I want to do. I want to drop by home because I have some ascendant leather armor. And then we can definitely do a cave run tonight because we are. We're, we're rolling. Oh, I can also outrun a Gigasaurus. Found that out. Well, this is interesting. Do I go for it? I'm, oh, wow, those colors. I almost want to tame it. I haven't found an Alpha yet, so I think that level 405 toast oh Jesus it can take a chunk out Stay on it come on oh I almost got it down Come on, good boy. 405 Spino. Dead. I love Baryonyxes. Jesus. Yeah, that's going straight into melee. Um, hopefully we don't get taken down by my other favorite creature while we're running through here. But the Thylacolio, we are stepping into their territory so we'll see and finally I've spotted an alpha hopefully there's no thylos in there I'm gonna take this a little slow so we don't run in too fast maybe lose him there's my third favorite creature but we don't have stuff to tame right now we came here to fight and poop I guess where are you, buddy? What level are you? Level 90? Alright, well this might be a little bit of a rough battle, but let's get to it. Let's see how much damage I do. Oh, that snail looks awesome! It's a little pill bug! Ha! <laughs> get it. Forty-six, that's not bad. Oh, the 73, though. That's... That's up there. Oh, my little guy's doing 19 damage right along this. I like how the otters can attack while they're on your shoulder. Also, if you didn't know, the otters can help you while you're exploring caves, because you can put artifacts on them. I will 
show that after we get back home and I can put my other armor on and we can go do the cave. It looks like this guy's gonna be done pretty soon. He's trying to get me over the hill, looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sobek. Sobek's, so, Sobek's pretty tapped out. I should have put some in weight, but I can already carry a thousand. Jeez. This thing is beastie. Alright, let's make it home. And we are back in the entrance of the cave. You might be asking yourself, what do I go into a cave with? Well, give you guys an idea. This is everything I have on me. Uh, this is everything that I have on me and Sobek. A little bit of food for Sobek. An extra thing of armor for me. Lots of leather. Lots of fiber so I can repair them. This if I need to make food or warmth. A couple of these in case I get tranquilized for some reason. And then also the otter because you can pick up artifacts with your otter. Um, so let's not run through this cave just because now I have a better chance of... Oh, well, that's, that's sad. I'm gonna go figure out what killed my raptor.